Rocky versus Drago. What would the betting odds have been in Rocky for? Rocky Balboa's victory over Ivan Drago in Russia on Christmas Day 1985 is one of the greatest upsets in the history of American cinematic sports. Even though Balboa was boxing's reigning world heavyweight champion, he was certainly the betting underdog against the bigger, stronger, younger, and chemically enhanced Drago. The undefeated Siberian bull had at least 6 inches and more than 70 pounds on the Italian stallion. That's like pitting LeBron James against Steph Curry in the squared circle. And let's also not forget that Drago killed former heavyweight champ Apollo Creed in the ring earlier that year. The perception was crystal clear. Drago was boxing's next big superstar, and he would destroy anything in his path. But how would that perception have played out at the books? Since we've never seen publicized betting odds on Rocky vs. Drago, and since we just wrapped up 4th of July weekend, the most patriotic of all holidays, I decided to round up a slew of bookmakers, bettors, and industry experts to properly price the opening line for the incident that truly ended the Cold War, the main event of Rocky IV. It was an unsanctioned, 15-round fight, so Nevada Daming wouldn't let us accept wagers, Westgate Superbook Executive Director John Murray cracked. Seriously, though, what's the line? You don't want to go too high on a heavyweight bout, he resumed. I would have opened Drago about minus 1,000, bet $1,000 to win $100, given his size, age, and home advantage. The public would have hammered the plus money on Rocky, and wise guy support would have shown for the favorite. We probably would have closed around Drago minus 400 and gotten buried. I would have gotten yelled at the next morning. Bookmakers have explained to me for years how the betting public loves to bet underdogs in boxing matches and UFC fights. That's because most people don't want to bet $100 to win $10, they want to bet $100 to win $750. But when creating a real-life boxing market, a bookmaker has to be careful about being too cheap on the favorite. There's always big money ready to pounce on a perceived bargain. Sharps would have buried me at minus 450 on Drago, when BET senior trading manager Alan Berg explained. If a sportsbook had tried to set the line lower on the Russian to balance out the action on both sides, then smart, influential bettors with enough cash to make an impact would have been all over Drago. I would have opened at Drago minus 1000, Berg said. I would definitely want to write my first bet on him. And you keep trying to shade under the Balboa price. Remember, the market would have been overrating Drago's exhibition over a washed creed. As you'd expect, there was no doubt that Drago would have been favored against Rocky. The only question was, how big could the price be? That minus 1000 price on Drago was a fairly common starting point for many of the experts, with some coming in even a tad higher. Does somebody actually think Rocky should be favored? Former Las Vegas oddsmaker Aaron Kessler responded to my question. Drago minus 1,100. He killed a die. And it's not like Rocky was a dominant fighter. Drago was a monster favorite, U.S. bookmaking director of operations Robert Walker declared. He would be at least minus 1,500. And we would have got crushed. Drago has to be a massive favorite, professional better Rob Pizzolo pined. Say Ram minus 1,000. Rocky is at the twilight of his career, and Drago is much younger. Huge home advantage in Mother Russia, too. And Drago literally murdered the man who went the distance with Rocky twice. It would have been like Mike Tyson in his prime against a gas can. Now, a minus 1,000 bet on which you risk $100 to win $10 sounds like a lot, especially if you're not a regular sports better. But we see even bigger favorites, and underdogs, all the time in non-scripted sports. A common mistake would be to compare Rocky's upset over Drago to Buster Douglas shocking the world and beating the aforementioned Tyson, for example. Not so fast. Douglas opened as high as 42 to 1, or plus 4,200, to knock off Iron Mike. Rocky would have never, ever been priced that high, even at books where you would have been the biggest possible underdog. Balboa was just shy of 10 to 1, plus 1,000, in this discussion. It honestly reminds me more of the first Tyson-Holyfield fight, when Evander knocked Tyson out, Caesar's senior risk manager Rich Sanko said. 
Tyson was invincible, and Holyfield had heart problems, but money kept pouring in on the underdog. I believe Holyfield opened at plus 1800 and was bet down to plus 700. So I think it's very fair to start at Drado minus 1400 and Balboa plus 800. The fight being in Russia was massive, and Balboa was clearly past his prime after getting lit up by Clubber Lang years before. From Drado minus 1000 to minus 1500, all of these fine folks were in roughly the same neighborhood with their lines. At this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, these guys are bad at their jobs. Don't they all know Rocky won the fight? Well, yeah, but hindsight is 20 20ths. We've all seen the movie, sorry for the spoiler if you haven't. When you're making and maneuvering a real-life boxing market, though, you obviously don't know the end result. Still, there were a handful of bookmakers who believed, even without that knowledge, that Drago would not have been such a massive favorite in the battle that changed the world. Drago was a small favorite, Westgate Superbook senior risk manager Rex Byers projected. He killed an out-of-shape Apollo Creed. Rocky still had the belt and got into tremendous, tip-top shape. I would have been cheaper than everyone else. You also have to remember that no one bet on sports in Russia in the 1980s, Byers continued. And most square Americans would have never been able to bring themselves to bet on Drago. He beat nothing but ham sandwiches and other amateurs in Europe before finishing Creed. Drago had to be minus 160, South Point Sportsbook director Chris Andrews said. I only saw the first two Rockies, though, so I'm in the dark. But never underestimate the heart of a champion. Drago minus 180, Rampart Casino Sportsbook director Dwayne Colucci said. It's Rocky, brother. Enough said. I'm guessing Drago minus 400, Golden Nugget Executive Sportsbook Director Tony Miller. You have to start at that number because if you open any lower, you'll just write it all the way up anyway. And, of course, some weren't so helpful. I don't think you realize the level of my hatred for theoreticals, Circus Sports Assistant Sportsbook Manager Jeff Davis said. You're asking the wrong guy, Circus Sports Sportsbook Manager Chris Bennett said. I don't watch many movies. That was Rocky IV, right? It's okay, though. We definitely have enough input to crunch this price. Drago minus 180 is way too low, and Drago minus 1500 is way too high. I'm more than willing to meet in the middle between the two factions. Yet reflecting on what Berg said about Sharps burying him at minus 450, you certainly would have to start higher than that. Drago minus 700 and Rocky plus 450 is the perfect opening line, legendary Las Vegas odds maker Kenny White said. That split gets you good two-way action, and then you move the money from there. But Drago is bigger, faster and stronger. And he has 35 plus years of Russian revenge on the mind. After the first limit bet on Drago, I'll gladly move my market to minus 1000 and plus 650. So there you have it. That's the price. Ivan Drago, minus 700, versus Rocky Balboa, plus 450. A $10 bet on Rocky would have won you $45, plus your $10 back. Bump that up to a $100 wager, and you're profiting $450. No matter which way you shake it, Ivan Drago would have been a sizable betting favor against Rocky Balboa heading into the Christmas Day extravaganza. As much as I love my country and enjoyed Rocky training like a maniac in frozen Siberia, it's no secret that Rocky's biggest edge was Sylvester Stallone riding the flick. Yo, Adrian, we did it.